Hi there, Doug Stewart with one of Dell's new precision workstations, the 7920 Rack Workstation. That's right, a Rack Workstation. Many of you probably get a mental image of one of those big tower chassis when you think of workstations, but they're also available in a Rack Server type configuration. The advantages are better security for your data and intellectual property, but it's also easier for your IT staff to perform general maintenance and upgrades when they're addressing your other network assets. With network connectivity, you can also access the system remotely for troubleshooting and share the system with other users. Let's take a look. It's been about four years since Dell upgraded their line of workstations, and from a technology standpoint, that's a long time. They also planned the release of these new workstations with the 20th anniversary of the very first Dell workstation, the powerful Workstation 400, with a 128 megabyte, yes, megabyte graphics card and a cost of about $12,000. Factor in an inflation, that's about $20,000. And as we've all been told, the equipment that NASA used for the first space flight took up a full room and had the capacity of a modern day cell phone, and not even a really good one. Bottom line, four years is a long time, but the time was well spent with four new platforms. The 5820 tower, the 7820 tower, the 7920 tower, and the 7920 rack workstation we have here. All are capable of supporting SAS, SATA, HDDs, and SSDs, U.2 NVMe, and M.2 storage devices, and lots of them. There are slight differences between the rack and tower versions of the 7920 workstation. The rack version includes four 1 gigabit Ethernet ports for network connectivity, standard, and Dell's iDRAC version 9.0 for management of the system, either at the chassis or remotely. The tower version also supports up to four Gen 3 graphics cards or up to three 250 watt double wide GPUs totaling 750 watts of GPU goodness, while the rack version will support up to three double wide GPUs at up to 300 watts each or 900 watts total for graphics support. The rack version surprisingly supports less storage with only eight 3.5 or 2.5 inch hard drives supported compared to 12 total on the tower. Of course, those PCIe lanes can also add storage in the form of M.2 SSDs and the same goes for the tower. Are you considering purchasing one of these Dell Precision 7920 rack workstations? If you are, we have them in stock and for a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. To see pricing on this system, just click that link. And while you're at it, check out IT Creation's other great deals on memory, storage, GPUs, M.2 NVMe storage devices, those cool quad M.2 cards, processors from both Intel and AMD, GPUs. Oh, and we also have that super cool Star Wars GPU available with either Rebel or Empire designs. And then after Granting superpowers to their new line of workstations are Intel's Xeon scalable processors. You can install one or two scalable processors with up to 28 cores each from either the bronze, silver, gold, or platinum families. Each processor also supports up to six memory channels with two slots per channel, 12 slots per processor, and 24 active slots in a two processor configuration. The system, like the tower version, can also host up to three terabytes of memory with all slots loaded with 128 gigabyte RDIM modules in a two processor configuration. However, to get the full three terabytes of memory, you will need to use the scale of processors with the M that support up to 1.5 terabytes of memory each. Without the M, they only support 768 gigabytes each. Memory speed is also a factor to consider because some of the scalable processors only support memory speeds of 2400 megatransfers per second as opposed to the top memory speed of 2666 megatransfers per second. All of Dell's Precision workstations come with Dell's Precision Optimizer and the 7920 Rack workstation is no exception. The Precision Optimizer ensures all of those ISV certified software products run as efficiently and fast as possible with your hardware configuration. Additional tools to improve performance include Intel CASW, which makes more effective use of caching data to improve performance of both spinning disks and SSDs. There's also Teradici software, so you can use a remote computer, tablet, or smartphone to access your workstation remotely to make changes and updates to your projects in real time. Remote and local systems management is also made possible by Dell iDRAC with Lifecycle Controller, which makes it easy to deploy, update, monitor, and maintain remote workstations. The system also comes with optional QuickSync 2.0 for at chassis management using the OpenManage mobile app. This chassis can also be ordered with a lockable security bezel or one with an integrated display and lock. Two integrated SATA controllers support four ports each on the system board for the eight drives up front. The eight bays support either eight 3.5 inch drives or eight 2.5 inch drives or a combination of the two using 2.5 inch drive tray adapter. If you want SAS drives, you can also install the new Series 10 controllers, H740P, or save a few bucks and go with the older Series 9 PERC controller like the H330 or H730P. Both Series 9 and 10 controllers offer more RAID options, faster connection speeds at 12 gigabits per second, support for SAS drives, and more cache, but you will get significantly more cache with the Series 10 controllers. 
An optional internal dual SD card module with V-Flash can be used to support your hypervisor with the V-Flash card acting as additional storage for iDRAC. There are eight Gen 3 PCI slots supported by three risers, with four controlled by CPU-1 and the other four controlled by CPU-2. With a single processor installed, you only get a single by 16 slot for one of those GPUs. The second CPU adds two more by 16 slots to support two more double width GPUs for a total of three. If you need more storage than those up front drives, then you can install up to eight NDME Express Flash PCI SSDs using two Dell Precision Ultra Speed drive quad by 16 cards. However, those quad cards require two processors and both cards must be installed on CPU slots four and eight, which also happen to be the recommended slots for the GPUs. The ports on the back of the system are what you would expect to find in any of Dell's servers. It features a system identification button, RJ45 port for iDRAC, a VGA connector, old school serial port, dual USB ports, a slot for a network daughter card, NDC, and dual PSUs for redundancy. You also get a few more ports up front, including optional quick sync for at chassis management. The network daughter card can also be switched out to add more ports or faster connection speeds. Your staff can connect to the rack workstation either through the local network on a PC or thin client. To access the workstation remotely, they can use Teradici with either their PC or a tablet. Teradici sends only host-rendered encrypted pixels so your data stays secure on your remote workstation. The Dell Precision 7920 Rack Workstation offers a platform that has very similar performance compared to the 7920 Tower Workstation, but makes it easy to share between several users. Security is also enhanced simply because the server room is often in a secure environment, but users will also benefit from a host of other security features built into the system to protect data. We just received the Dell Precision 5820 Workstation Tower a few days ago, so look for a review of that system in the next two or three weeks. If you want more information on this system, I placed a few links in the description below, and if you're interested in pricing this system and checking out a few other workstations at the same time, click that link. If you have any questions on this platform or any other, post them in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.